Five women. A quest for equality. Connected by a secret symbol. The Dean's Bible. Five leaders succeeded one another as Dean of Women and Dean of Students at Purdue University from the 1930s to 1990s. They passed down a Bible originally owned by Purdue's first Dean of Women. Stratton, Schliemann, Stone, Cook, and then Nelson. We were just an, we were an anomaly in the country. Over the years, I had seen this same photo of these five women at various Purdue functions. And I didn't know these women, but I would look at it each time I saw it, and they would be walking toward me, and I would think, there's a story. During World War II, Dorothy Stratton directed the Women's Reserve of the United States Coast Guard she named Spars. Helen Schliemann was her right-hand woman. Beverly Stone was a wave in the Women's Reserve of the Navy. Military experiences cemented the Dean's beliefs that women were capable of great accomplishments, even when society said otherwise. They encouraged female students, but were often thwarted by the male administration. I wanted to tell the stories of uh, Purdue women that have not been told. Each Dean was often the only female voice in a male-dominated uh, administration. Uh, but they were very courageous in speaking out for women students, for other women faculty, for those with disabilities, for anyone who was quote-unquote different. The word Bible means guidebook. The Dean's Bible is just that, brimming with stories of courageous women who led by example and lived their convictions. My hope is that the readers of the Dean's Bible will appreciate these women's stories because they worked so hard to encourage women students to fulfill themselves, to fulfill their capabilities, when society told them that a female education was not of value. It's fun to think about how the Deans would react to this. What they'd say is, we love the book. It was just wonderful to capture all of this legacy in one publication, you understood that you know this is about respect and equality and treasuring relationships. Um, you know, bravo! The author did well. <laughs>